I'm Matt Kenny, and here's some Canadian news. I know it can be hard to understand what the politicians are really saying, so I'm here to translate it for you. Hi, Minister. It's uh, Julia Wong, CBC News. You're throwing some pretty big numbers out, but really the report found it was $54 million in foreign funding that was uh, put towards these anti-Alberta energy campaigns. The report itself costs $3.5 million. The province's own war room budget is about $30 million over four years. So was this whole endeavor a mistake? The $3.5 million is money well spent. It's a drop in the bucket compared to the billions of dollars that has been crossing the border under the guise of charity and the untraceable aspect of it. And with respect to the $54 million, uh, frankly, I'm surprised and that's that any grant would blatantly say it's for an anti-Alberta energy campaign. I'm surprised that any money would cross the border being that blatant. The fact is a lot of money crosses the border for other initiatives. The most likely was the, the obvious one was the marine planning and that was in the hundreds of millions of dollars and specifically I can point to to one thing that was underway in around 2010 and it was to it was the start of the tanker ban. It was called PENSEMA, the PENSEMA initiative ocean planning. And guess what? There was money coming from the the Moore Foundation almost $10 million to set up and pay for that domestic process to do marine planning here in Canada. Now that, if that isn't anti-Alberta, uh, um, if that isn't meant to stop, st stop the development of the oil sands, there nothing is. The way to cut that off was a tanker ban and that's what they got and it was paid for and funded out of these foreign foundations in the United States. That should make Albertans outraged. I know it makes me outraged because again I go back and say where would we have been today if the Northern Gateway Pipeline had been built? We'd be supplying energy to the world in a global energy crisis. Instead, now it's Russia and Saudi Arabia and other countries that are doing that. But worse, those countries will take the wealth from doing that and they will use it to fund their energy future. They will use it to get a strategic advantage over Albertans and Canadians to get ahead on hydrogen, carbon capture, technology and innovation. We've been put at a competitive disadvantage because of these foreign funded campaigns and I'm not okay with it and I don't think Albertans are okay with that. No! This report was basically an in-depth case study for the CEC to use in their campaign against these charities. We want to be more like instructive Russia and Saudi Arabia. Minister, I can't help but notice that you're standing here alone without the Premier, without Steve Allen. You've had this report for several months. I'm sure the schedules could have been arranged for everyone to be here. This was the Premier's campaign promise. Why is he hiding? I don't believe the Premier is hiding. There's a lot of initiatives underway in the, in the province today and a, a lot of important initiatives. This is something that uh, um, he, he's known has been near and dear to my heart. I've spent practically my whole lifetime studying this and understanding this. I lived through it when I worked in the energy sector. I've stayed close to it every single day as the campaign's going through. Um, uh, Commissioner Allen, well, he's completed the report. His work is done. Um, he's letting his report stand. It's 650 pages, thoroughly researched documentation. He's letting that stand. It's an excellent report, uh, report and I think it should be required reading for Albertans. I would encourage everyone to read every single page of that report. That threw me under the bus! And Alan was embarrassed that his sources were basically just Google. Read it for yourself!